Yes, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Jörg Haas from Germany, as already told. Um, I want to show you um, the other part of the Wish Hub, the part of the user. Um, I saw that many of the things I will show you now uh, you already told. Um, so <laughs> this sorry, is sorry. <laughs> that's always the problem. I think you will have another <laughs> extended problem. No, but it's uh, not only a repetition, but it's always <coughs> approval that uh, most of the things uh, you told us from the part of the designer is uh, really true and it's really um, appearing in the schools. So, um, the first part is um, how to Yes, creating excursion is now, I must say, is now very easy. And um, you, can really, uh, you can really easily create an excursion and the use is uh, yes, very self-explaining. Um, you have a lot of templates um, ready to use, already pre-structured, so you can put the text, the, uh, all things you want to put in your excursion in. Uh, you don't have to care for a lookout and so on. Just um, copy the URL or or, the, or type in additional text. And above all, you have a lot of um, YouTube tutorials for all important steps on your way to a yes, quite nice excursion. Very short, not more than a minute, I think. Um, and very detailed, you have a problem somewhere, then you click on this tutorial and then it's going on very fast, so you can improve your excursions in that way uh, uh, very easily. So, yes, this is one of these tutorials. Sometimes we would like to include With a presentation in our discussion. The best way to do this is by saving it. Um, very uh, impressive thing. You have a PowerPoint. I, I don't want to show it completely. I have a PowerPoint. And then you can integrate the PowerPoint slides into your new excursion, which is a lot of us. From, we have a lot of PowerPoints somewhere on our computer. And so you can um, import them as pictures. And then you can uh, add. Yes, new things, videos, uh, interactive things, and so uh, there's not much work to do for a. Well not, okay, it depends on what you like, but very easy to make a new uh, interactive presentation. So yes, that's uh, this part of multimedia and hypertext. Of course, you can easily um, copy pictures videos, um, yes, animations, you already told this uh, virtual body where you can have a look into. This is just a, a resource, but it's uh, working on the same platform, so you don't have to switch any to anywhere else. It's all in this platform, and this is very comfortable. Also for the students, they don't, you don't have to open many programs at the same time and switch from one program to another and so on. And <laughs> always remember where was where is where is going on now and you always have uh, in the same platform and I think this is very comfortable for them to use and um, as well of course you can um, have links uh, like in uh, each PowerPoint presentation but um, so you have all your with a link, of course, you um, you skip the uh, Wish Hub platform, but um, I think that's also a very important thing. So um, yes, I think that's uh, one of the most important things. You have a lot of sources, um, different resources, and from different. Um, virtual places, you know, when you type in Google, you search something, then you have many different uh, places and you can uh, combine this to a for you unique uh, learning environment. I think that's uh, one of the great things from Visual. Okay, what's, yes, and yes, Jose also told, 
Um, one very nice thing is that uh, the copy of um, already existing excursion, you can copy it and then maybe oh, copy just uh, some slides from it and then, okay, it's a European project, then you can uh, translate what you need and so you can adapt other excursions already made to your personal curriculum, what you need in school. Maybe there is some slides which is uh, yes, not interesting for you, then you can throw it away and so it's fitting your uh, curriculum. Yes, I made some small dissemination uh, in my surroundings. One dissemination was with STEM teachers in uh, teacher training and the other was with my students at university um, I presented them and I asked them, what do you think about this? Will you use it in future? Because I thought they are from this generation um, who is, um, yes, who, who always use virtual platforms. Um, yes, these are just some uh, words from the teachers. Um, they saw, okay, they just had a chance to click a little bit around. They saw that there were great resources with interesting um, places and they saw very quickly that there is an added value uh, than sharing PDFs or PowerPoints uh, which is uh, I think available in each school where you have a, a platform where you can exchange uh, files but I think it's uh, Wishup is more than just sharing these files and it's more interactive and the students um, said that uh, they say, okay, they saw that there's a, something like a teacher community um, where the teachers can work together directly without uh, any problems. They can share their experience and their excursions. Um, yes, somebody says this is preparing lessons 2.0. I think we are actually at 3.0. I don't know what's the name. Yes. Okay, I tested these uh, virtual excursions in different backgrounds. Um, one was, um, yes, independent practice sessions. Okay, great words for students sitting in front of their computer and working on my excursion. Um, individually, and the other way was uh, sitting together in small groups and work on this, discuss then maybe fill out a quiz or something else. And the other thing is contractual work, which means that the students had a, yes, um, a larger excursion. We start at schools, um, yes, uh, explaining how it works, what they're going to do, and then they have uh, their lesson plan and, and until, I don't know, until the next hour or the next few hours, they had to work on this special subject, uh, even from home at homework. Um, yes, and yes, benefits, I already, some of them I already told. Uh, all sources in one place. Um, the quizzes uh, with the feedback. Um, you can have the feedback what, uh, what, are your what are your students doing? Actually, what are they clicking on? Um, do they really uh, learn? Do they really meet the uh, goals you uh, want to and okay no more file exchange necessary I think it's, uh, maybe mm, for us teachers you know uh, <laughs> infrastructure is always a great problem um, so we have less problems with uh, sharing files uh, uploading downloading problems and so on and this is very comfortable and uh, for me, it was quite interesting, this com compatibility um, to work with Moodle courses. Uh, we have Moodle uh, installed in our area for all schools, so we can integrate it in the Moodle course. So I have a course running, it's called Physics 9th Branch and so on, and so somewhere there is a Wishup course already integrated. So another, another way just to, um, yes, to have a look where find your students their resources they need to meet uh, the curriculum goals. So, yes, some outlooks and prospects, yes, let's promote it. Um, 
I think um, it's worth to show this um, <coughs> this great resource. Um, okay, one teacher cannot do many, but um, when we all try to promote this and share their excursions and use our communication channels, I think we can promote this tool. Um, then I think also a very interesting thing is that we should invite our colleagues to rate excursions because I think quality is also very important. Um, actually, you can log in and, uh, I don't know, uh, produce an excursion um, uh, from two or three slides where there's just copied something from the net, from a PDF or something else. Um, and this is not very interesting for the rest of the users. So so you can rate and then when you enter the Wish Hub uh, platform then you see okay what resources are worth to have a look at it and um, yes intensify the work on the catalog it's a quite new uh, feature <coughs> um, I think that's also very important for us teachers um, okay, I, okay biology excursions are for me quite interesting but I will not use them in my lessons because I'm a math and physics and computer science <laughs> teacher so I want uh, just uh, when I'm preparing lessons then I want a quick access to what is very what is important so I think this catalog is uh, yes need to be improved and Okay, this is also, okay, maybe maybe we can add uh, open ID as login, this would be very nice. It's a small, <laughs> I think it's a small problem, but you know, and okay. password over password and login over login. So I think uh, EUN has a great, uh, all the platforms are working with open ID, so I, I think it should be also accessible with open ID login, this would be perfect. Okay. So, yes, enjoy your excursion. Thank you very much.